Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? Today, I don't have a whole lot to show you, but um, I thought I'd get on here and you've seen a lot of me lately. <laughs> Hopefully, you're not sick of me. <laughs> uh, but I did finish a couple of things that I just wanted to show you. And I, um, I have, you know, something that's important that I want to direct you to. Okay. So, <clears throat> I finished my sweater. Yay. <laughs> um, not the, not the one that, or the vest that I'm trying to, uh, to finish with the momente because my other yarn's not here. I don't even want to talk about that. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so, oop, I finished the sweater that I was working on. Oh, where's the sleeve? No. Sleeve is here. <laughs> um, and so yeah, I finally finished it. I'm so happy. It's, I really love this pattern. Um, like the pattern of, um, The drop stitch pattern anyway um <clears throat> the the actual pattern i saw from hook um hectanuga one and she did a poncho so i decided to take the same and make a sweater uh hers goes oops, that way but i decided to turn it this way and i think it looks really cool so um i'll put a picture oops i'll put a picture up here um of what i look like in it uh and yeah it's nice and cozy and um it's gonna be great for winter time but i used what did i used i used premier basic for the dark blue and then I used I love this yarn for the colored part um, <clears throat> and I think it turned out great I'm really happy with it <clears throat> and I may have to make more and I know everybody's already saying you know can you do a tutorial on it and whatnot but I don't know if Emmy from Hectanuga actually designed that stitch or if that's something that's been around for a while. Um, so I kind of feel funny about doing a tutorial on it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is not pop. This is Zevia. Oops, Zevia. Not sponsored. I'd like to be though. <laughs> okay, like no calories or anything in that. So, <laughs> um, I also just finished. If, you, if you've been on Bega Day's channel, um, you would have seen her cowl that she did with the latte cakes. I was like, yes, please. So I did it. I did not realize when i did it that it was just a straight strip she didn't show you how to make it into a cowl but um i guess she just kind of did that and then put a pin there so yeah that's pretty much all she did which it was a little disappointing <laughs> to be honest because i thought it was going to be like a you know put together kind of although i don't know i still couldn't do it like well maybe if i put it like together here and then just this i could probably do that but <clears throat> yeah so yeah it's just a straight strip love 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 the pattern it was easy peasy and of course, being latte, it's nice and squishy soft. 
so yeah <clears throat> so I did that and I have no idea how long it is she'd be able to tell you in her video because I did it the exact same width um, as hers width and length as hers so I don't think this latte cake is around anymore actually I used two because I ran out of this one so I used a little bit of a purple to finish it off so yeah so I did that um what else okay acquisitions I went to Michael's and I don't normally do this but something said go over there there's a clearance section in our Michael's and to be honest nothing there appeals to me um, it's not like they have yarn in that section that's clearanced or beads or anything that you know I would be interested in so I was kind of like why am I going over here well out popped this isn't that adorable these are one meter one meters of fabric I got them they were regular uh, $8.99 I got them for $2.25. Now, I know I'm in Canada. Oh, yeah. I know I'm in Canada and it's a, a U.S. pattern for their flag. But I thought, you know what? I grabbed every one of them that they had. <laughs> so, yeah, I grabbed them all. <laughs> because I'm going to give them to my sister. And I told her, if you can make how, however many project bags out of these that you can, she'll probably get two, maybe three out of them. Um, I would put them on my channel and see if you guys would like to buy them. So I have to take them over there. But I just, I just love this pattern. Isn't that adorable? I just thought that was so cute. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take them over there and see what she can do with them. Um, then when she's finished, then I will let you know and I will show them on the channel. And then I will direct you over to her Etsy page. <laughs> her Etsy page is always linked down below. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, next thing is... As you guys know, um, George and I have been doing the carnivore way of eating. I've been watching to see if I'm dropping any weight, dropping inches. I, but most of all, um, this year I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. So I really want my A1C to come down. And it has dropped. It was at 7.8. And it dropped down to 6.5 the last time I got my blood work done. But I really want to keep track of it on my own. So I invested in an A1C check self-checker. Now I got this off Amazon. It's the only one that I could find, right? It was the only one that was on there so I don't know if these are the only guys that make this but um it's by PTS Diagnostics okay um I I did one uh it's it, it's got three parts to it it's got the well here I'll show you it has the, I should, I should have kept the other piece so I could have showed you, but it's got the little monitor. Okay. And then it's got these bags. Okay. This bag has the little disc in it right there. 
and that is what you slide into here and right here it has a little a little patch there that you put your sample in okay now this uh, what's the better picture here this is the little gadget that collects your blood okay on the one side it's the little poker thing like you do when you're checking your glucose and then the rest of it contains uh, um, the chemical or whatever it is that you mix your blood with so you poke your finger and you just like you do with your blood glucose thing where you put your blood on it and it sucks your blood up it's the same idea except it's a plastic piece with a little plastic nozzle that comes out and it collects your blood and then you put that piece into this container right it snaps in you shake it like eight times or so and you put it down on the counter then you get your these two pieces and you put them together right and then you take it's time sensitive so you t it, you've got just like two minutes or something to get this all dealt with so then you take that cartridge and you push it on top of the little pad that's right here and it goes click and then you take it off right away uh, so basically it's a plunger that pushes all that solution onto the little pad that's on here and then it's five minutes that you wait and it's got a countdown on the monitor and then when the five minutes is up it tells you what your a1c is so i did it and it came out to 6.5 so i knew that that was right and so i knew that it was working properly uh, cause you just never know, right? You're kind of going, well, is it actually going to be accurate or not? It was, it was accurate. So that made me very happy. So now I ha I can wait until what? It's every three months or something. They don't give you very many of these. And I don't know if you can buy new, what new ones or not, but I think it's four. Yeah. They give you four of each of the packages. So I have to check into it. I'm sure that there's probably a website on here or something. I know that there's a one of those scanny code things right here. So I don't know. I don't know if you can call their company and get new ones. Or if this is a thing where after the four are done, you throw it away and you buy a new one. If that's the case, that's going to suck because this was not, you know, cheap. Um, but yeah, I'll have to look into that. So anyways, I was really happy with that. Um, and, you know, I've got it, on the instructions inside, it's got this little thing that you can write down your information. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. So if you're interested... Uh, I will see if I'll put the, the Canadian um, Amazon link down below and I'll see if I can find the U.S. link. And I, if I can find that, then I will put that down below as well. Okay, now on Wednesday, don't ask me what the date of that is. I don't know. <laughs> this coming Wednesday. Uh, Angela from My Precious Yarnery is having a party. She's having a party, a, a party live for our girl Kimmy at Kim's Crochet and Knits. Friday is Kim's birthday. <coughs> Yay! So uh, Angela thought it would be a great idea to do a party on her her channel. Um, she's got a whole bunch of people donating stuff and she's going to be doing an auction. I think is it an auction or is it anyways, you can, you can get stuff on there. <laughs> I 
I can't remember if it's you buy it or if it's an auction. I think it's an auction. I'm not sure. I can't remember right now. My brain's not working. But anyway, uh, so go check out Angela's channel. She talks about it. She gives you the times and the all that kind of stuff because she's a couple hours ahead of me. So I don't exactly know what the time is uh, for her time. So go check her check her out. If you need more information, you can email her uh, on her channel. And yeah, so it's going to be a fun time. I am donating something that's not crochet related. Okay, I'm donating a necklace, earring, and bracelet set that I made special just for Kimmy's party. Okay, so here is the necklace. I wish there was some way else, some way I could show this better. Uh, hold on. Okay, hopefully this works. Uh, all right so here's the necklace now it's really hard to see the pearly beads on there but they're an opalescent um and then the dark beads are hematite now hematite is good for grounding um, so it keeps you centered and grounded. Okay. Uh, it's on memory wire. Remember I was telling you, showing you the memory wire before where you just pop it on and you go. Okay. So there you go. So if you got short hair, you have your hair up, you can see the other side of the beads behind you. Okay. So there you go. So that's the necklace and then here is the bracelet so again the bracelet is on memory wire okay so you just take it whoops just take it and Put it around like that. And, oops. <laughs> Let's try that again. There you go. Okay. So there's that. And I made oops, the earrings. Now, I'm going to pop a picture up here of what it looks like up close because uh, I know it's really hard to see. My camera sucks. <laughs> so here you go. So that's the set that I have for Kimmy's birthday. And I'm also going to be making Kimmy a set to send her for her birthday. She won't get it until after her birthday, but, you know. Um, so... I'm just waiting for her to tell me what colors she would like them in. So yeah, so go check out uh, Angela's channel. I will leave her link down below um, and go make sure that you're there on Wednesday so you can get in on the fun. I know she's going to have a few people up on her panel. Um, so that's, I, I'm unfortunately working. So I'm going to have to just watch the replay, which really sucks. <laughs> but got to do what you got to do, right? Uh, but anyway, so that's all I've got for you guys. Um, I hope that you all go over to Angela's channel and be a part of Kimmy's um, birthday. Go over to Kimmy's channel and wish her a happy birthday this week. Uh, she doesn't seem to think that she deserves to have a party. She's just like, yeah, whatever. It's like, ah, no. <laughs> Angela was like, ah, no, <laughs> that's not going to fly. So yeah, 
So we're all getting involved in, and showing Kimmy how special she really is because we love her to pieces. Um, so yeah, go over and give her some yarny love. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. And I will talk to you soon. Love you. Bye.